Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another daily upload. In today's video, we have some monster gains to review today. I held a GME $200 call option yesterday into today and you guys saw what happened this morning. I was able to close that trade out in the morning for just about a $10,000 gain. So this is my third five figure trade. I'm very happy to have another one. So we'll go ahead and review that trade. I don't have it live because it's in my E-Trade portfolio. It's not in the scalping account, but I will break down where I purchased it, where I sold it, and I'll go over some of the craziness that was occurring this morning. A lot of people were not able to sell, not able to buy their calls and the stock. So it was a little bit crazy getting out of this, but I'll show you where I was able to exit. Now in the scalping account, I have the live trades on that account, and I have live trades on Airbnb, and I have live trades on AMC. So I caught those live. We'll go ahead and review those trades. I'll share with you where I got in, where I got out. And I also was trading AMC pre-market with some shares. I don't have that live for you guys, but I will break down my P&L on both accounts. So obviously an awesome day for me today, up over $11,000 between the E-Trade and the TD Ameritrade account. The TD Ameritrade account that I've been live trading for you guys here is up over $5,000 for the month. So I'm extremely pleased with some of the market movement and the way that I've been able to catch these moves. So before we jump into this one, as always, make sure to smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel for some future videos, and press that bell notification so you know every single time that I post on the channel. So guys, before we jump into the trades, I wanna give another disclaimer about trading these crazy stocks like BlackBerry, like AMC, like GME. Obviously a ton of money to be made and there is nothing wrong with you guys trading it, making money and taking your profits. But the key word there is taking your profits and also risk management, not putting too much into these trades, risking a small amount because you have seen that a small amount can go a long way with these crazy stocks. So risk management is key. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the stock LFIN. This was a stock a few years ago that was crazy mover like we are seeing now and it was halted for a few months. So the people that were holding contracts on it, the people that were holding shares were locked in that trade for months as the, there was an investigation on the stock. So these things are possible. Just be aware of them. Take your profits when you have them and do your best to not get stuck in any of these halts or any big flushes to the downside. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the E-Trade portfolio. I'll show you my GME trade, the $10,000 trade. And after that, we'll pull up the live trades and go over Airbnb, and AMC. All right, guys, so I have the E-Trade portfolio pulled up. Let's go ahead and break this down. So here are the trades that I took. So first off, yesterday, I day traded a 195 call on GME. Now, if I held that, would have been a whole lot more money, but I took a nice gain. You guys, you guys can see $950 to about $2,000. So about a $1,000 gain there on that trade. The next one is this one that I held into today. So I bought a $2,000 or a $200 call for about $2,000 yesterday, and I held it into today, and those opened at $111 per contract. That's $11,185 for just one contract, and you can see I made just about a $9,100 gain. At a time, they were a little bit higher, but I was not able to sell in the morning on E-Trade. There was a lot of brokers that were down. It was a little bit concerning. You know, I was trying to market order, I was trying to limit sell, and nothing was working. And you guys saw that a lot of brokers were down. So I did not get out of that until later in the day. If I held it, you know, you guys saw GME sort of spiked up midday, but I had no interest in taking part of holding GME even longer than I did. It was a quick trade. It was not something that I was interested in becoming a millionaire on or making $100,000 on. $10,000 is incredible and more than I could ever ask for. So it was an awesome trade here. You guys can see $9,100. So in total, about $10,000 between GME in the last two days, the big trade coming today that I swung into the next day. Now, why did I swing GME here? A lot of people may say it's extremely risky. Why would you do something like that? So when you look at it this way, it's $2,000, right? And I was not going to take a total loss on this. Obviously, if it kept going down, I'd cut it. If you know opened up lower today, it wouldn't be worth zero, but it would definitely be worth less. So maybe I take a 50% loss on it. And you know that is something that I can live with. With some of the performance I've had in this portfolio, I was taking, you know, as you guys saw recently, I made about 5,000 on Tesla. So I'm a little bit padded in the portfolio and I'm okay taking a risk like this. 
on a stock that is clearly going to move up, clearly being squeezed with a sh by the shorts, clearly just, you know, with a lot of momentum. And I wanted to take advantage of it. And I did that right here. So awesome trade. That's my mentality behind it. The risk management was there. I didn't risk mo like a ton of money on this trade according to this account. Remember, this E-Trade portfolio, all the portfolios combined has a little bit over $75,000 now. So to risk $2,000 on that portfolio is something that I can live with. Now, if you're trading with a $5,000 account and you put $2,000 in GME and you hold it overnight, that's a totally different story. But a small risk to have a big reward and I'm very pleased with the, you know, the performance of this trade. So guys, we have the live trades pulled up. Top left, Apple. Bottom left, GameStop. Bottom right, Tesla. And top right, Airbnb. Airbnb moved extremely strong out of the gates. I did not catch this move. But on this second attempt, I got in. I got in for this breakout. And it definitely worked out today. So on the active trader, I have the $200 calls loaded. Uh, Friday expiration. And you guys will see when I get into this. So I'll play this real quick. And right there, my order comes in for Airbnb. Now, I don't get filled instantly, but it's not as bad as I've seen. So I do get filled right there. So not a bad fill like I've seen on TD Ameritrade lately. But right there, I get filled on Airbnb. Now, why did I get into this? Extremely strong move, a nice little retracement, and then a push higher to that $200 level. And I was looking for a nice strong move through that $200 level, through that psychological resistance. So I'm in this trade right now. I'm in at around $8 a contract. And you, let's go ahead and see what happens. So I'll fast forward this for us. And we'll see we're sort of chopping around at that $200 level. Right there, we get a huge move past it. So on that candle, huge move past the $200 level. Psychological resistance, breaking through it. And I'm quickly up about 8% on this contract. So I'll continue to fast forward. Really strong move. And then right here, in a second, you'll see I'll get out of the trade. So I got out of this trade because I'm up already. Um, actually, let me go back. So I'm up about 50% on this contract already. I'm up 50% in just these last three minute candles and I'm up $469 on the day. A 50% uh, fifty percent scalp is a great goal to have. I usually like to take profits at 20, 50, and 100% and I was able to get 50% on this trade. So I made sure to lock that in. So right here, you guys will see in a second, I was selling into the strength, which is better to sell into strength if you want to get uh, filled right away. So I was selling into that strength when Airbnb was moving up, and you can see right there I got filled in my contract. So up $450, and you'll, you can see what I did there. So I was just waiting for that $200 psychological breakout, took advantage of it, got in, got out, took my money, and ran. But you can see in about a second that Airbnb really moved up after this all the way up to $215. And then it gave a little bit of a pullback and I was watching this to see if I can get in a trade once again. So the next trade I'm watching here is AMC. You guys know we had some momentum on AMC and we had a little bit of a you know dip in the morning and found some consolidation and we were grinding along that nine EMA. So I was looking to see if we can break through the VWAP here. It's a gray line. It's sort of right next to all the other moving averages, but I was looking to see if we can get a quick move through the VWAP and I can try to take advantage of a little bit of a dip buy here back into that $18 resistance. I was on the voice chat with the Discord, letting them know that my price target here was $18. I didn't wanna hold through 18 because I saw there was some previous resistance there in the pre-market, and I was really just looking for a quick scalp through that VWAP up to that $18 level. So I'll go ahead and play this. I have the 20 or the $9 calls. So the reason I have the $9 calls loaded is because that was the furthest out of the money that you could possibly get today on the options chain. So I was going for that $9 call. It was trading for just around $8. So I scaled down. I bought one uh, $800 call or the $9 strike price, $800 for that call. I scaled down. I was ready well in the profit from trading this pre-market. You'll see in a second. I'm up a little bit over $1,000 on AMC from the pre-market. So I scaled down, not looking to give away those profits, just seeing if I can catch this quick move. So in a second, you will see that I have the ask right there. I get into it. I get in at about $8 a contract. So I'm up about $1,100 on the day on AMC already, and I'm just looking for a quick move. So it sort of takes a little bit. It chops around for quite a while, but it does grind on that 9 EMA. So I'll fast forward here. I zoom in, and we can continue to watch AMC here. And I'm holding this because it's holding 9 EMA. I'm not concerned holding the 9 EMA, and that is the support that I'm looking for. And we do hold it all the way up close to that $18 level. So... We're continuously moving. We're grinding higher, grinding higher. 
and we get a nice move here. So you see that one minute candle really strong right there. And this is when I'm starting to take, looking to take my profits. I'm up about 16%. I was talking to the chat, letting them know that I was looking for a 20% scalp here. And in just a second, you guys will see that I go ahead and take my profits. And that is right there. That pretty big wick scared me a little bit. Pretty big wick there on AMC. And then right there, I put my sell order in. Right before that $18 level, the resistance, I took about, what was that? About a um, $150 gain on that AMC call. And then I'm not sure if I have it on live, but we definitely rejected that $18 level. So after this, you know, AMC started to track down to $16.15. That $18 level was pretty strong. So a nice little scalp there. I broke It broke through the VWAP. It was holding the 9 EMA. And as long as it held that 9 EMA, I was comfortable holding. I was looking for a nice little scalp there. So nice two trades. First on AMC, another one on Airbnb. And I know after this little consolidation on Airbnb, we moved a whole hell of a lot higher. So I was definitely happy with the move on Airbnb there. I know a lot of the members were watching that trade. We were talking about Airbnb throughout majority of the morning. So some awesome trades, up about $1,800 in the scalping account today. And then you guys saw the $10,000 in the E-Trade account. So obviously an awesome day for me on the market today. So I'll go ahead and pop up my P&L for the TD Ameritrade account up on the screen. You can see up pretty nicely today. The account is over $15,000 now. I started this account with $10,000 in the beginning of January. So, so far a really nice return. The focus now is to focus on risk management. Keep these gains. It's the most important. You can make money in the market, but can you keep your money in the market? Are you gonna give it back on a silly trade that you sort of over leverage? You get in at a bad time. So the focus now is to make sure I keep these gains. I really hope you guys are enjoying the transparency, the live trades on the channel. I don't know many people that do this. I know one person and that's my buddy, Matt Diamond. He's a great YouTuber. He focuses on sharing trades like this as well, live options trades, and I know he's really killing it. So make sure to check him out as well if you are not already. I know a lot of you guys do. We, take, we make very similar content, so shout out to him and shout out to his performance on the channel. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Make sure to smash that like button for me if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for some future live trading, option trading videos. Press that bell notification, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.